Now in this section we're going to look at how to insert graphics into a Microsoft Word document. So you click where you want to insert your picture and then you click on insert and you'll see in the illustrations group there's various sort of types of pictures. You can have a, a picture from your hard disk, an online picture, a shape, an icon, a 3D model, smart art or chart. So let's first off insert a picture from the hard disk. So I click here select the picture I want to insert, maybe this one here, click on insert and there's your picture. Now what I can do is go to this handle here in the corner and just drag that in to resize. So you can go to any of these uh, corner handles and just drag in or of course you can drag out You know, if you want it larger. So that's how you insert a picture from your hard disk. Now if you want to insert an online picture you click on insert and then you click where it says online pictures. So you pick the, um, the sort of category you want, so I'll click on animals here. So let's say I want to insert this picture of the elephant. I just simply click on that to select it and then I click on insert. And there you go, there's the picture. Again, you can go up here and sort of resize it as you wish, just by dragging in and out. Notice in this case we're uh, sort of squishing the picture by dragging it. Um, so just simply dragging alone isn't very good in this case. If you want to achieve that sort of effect, fair enough, but normally you want to keep the picture ratio the same. So let me delete that. Let's do this again. Let's go to Insert, Online Picture. We'll go for, again, we'll go for birds here. We'll insert this bird here, we'll click on insert, and there we go. Now, as you've seen, just by dragging and what have you, you can distort the picture. If I click on undo, we'll put it the way it was. Now, if you press the shift key down while you drag, that forces the dimensions to remain consistent. So the aspect ratio, you know, the horizontal to vertical ratio stays the same. If you press the shift key down, and then you drag in and out. So that's a useful little trick. Right, let's see what else we've got. Let's go to Insert and click on Shapes. Within Shapes here, there's all sorts of shapes. So let's say you want this shape here, a sort of um, a rectangle with rounded corners. You can click on that, and I'll go over here and drag. And again, notice that you can sort of resize and reshape like that. If we repeat that, but this time, if we go to Insert Shapes and we select um, Oval, if I press the Shift key down when I drag, I get a perfect circle like so. If, on the other hand, I don't use the Shift key when I'm dragging, then I can distort it any which way I wish. Right, let's see what else we can do. Click on Insert here. Uh, we've looked at Pictures, Online Pictures and Shapes. Next, we'll look at Icons. So there's various icons you've got here, you can scroll, scroll down and see more. So let's say you wanted this icon of an old movie camera, you could click on that and insert. And again you can resize that just by dragging the handles. Right, next. Insert 3D models. Now in this case I'm going to look at online 3D models. So I'll go for, um, what should we go for, let's go for a bug and we'll go for this one here. So I'll click on this, this B one, and insert. And because this is 3D, if I move the mouse pointer to here and then drag around, that's kind of cool, huh? So this is using a 3D picture, a 3D model. So you just simply drag around and then let go, and if you want to change it, you just go to the middle here and you drag around to get the effect you want. Maybe, maybe that. Let's go to Insert, Smart Art. Smart Art basically gives you all these different sort of wonderful uh, shapes and, and um, graphic collections. So let's take an example. Let's go for, say, this one here. If I click on this pyramid list 
and click on OK, you get this um, shape here, and I can click here to add text. So I'll do one, two, three. So that's smart art. Let's try inserting another smart art image just to show you. So insert smart art. Select the one you want. So we'll go for what should we go for? Let's have a look. As you can see, there's all sorts of things here. Let's go for, say, this one. Click on OK. And again, you can just simply type here, type in one. Click here to type in two, three, four, and five. You'll find that if you investigate these, you can easily change things like the colors and the, the text and all the other bits and bobs. And that just shows you the principle. Right, the next option we're going to look at is inserting a chart. So I click here, it says insert chart. You can select the type of chart you want. I just simply go for the default, but you can have different types like you know, pie and um, surface charts and radars, all sorts of things. So we just go for the default one, which is column, click on OK, and in goes your chart. Now this is just using some default data. You can change this, so for instance, you could um, click up here where it says Series 1, and you could change that text to say um, 2018, click here, type in 2017, click here, 2016, over here, you can type in whatever you want, so I just type in North, South, click here, East, oops, and West. Um, you can obviously change the figures, so we'll change this first one from 4.3 to 9, and uh, press Return, and as you can see, that's reflected in the chart here. So that's very easy to um, insert charts. The chart table here, you just simply uh, click on it. So uh, what we'll do is we'll call that sales. And if you click outside and close this down, there's your chart. So you've got a little legend here, you've got the title there, you've got the scale, and then you've got the, the charts here for 2018, 2017, 2016.